Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol, the second swing golf at the Les Bolstead practice area outside here with Jake Montgomery. Jake is a master club fitter at our Minneapolis store. And today we've got a very interesting video. Something we really haven't done before is comparing putters head to head. And we're gonna go right at it here in aggressive style with like what, seven putters of longer length. So um, we kind of wanted to take advantage of this trend here going on in golf mm -hmm. where a lot of players are putting in longer putters and that's not just pros, right? Mm -hmm. That's amateurs, that's myself. Mm -hmm. um, so Jake, having been working with golfers and having obviously kind of learned about these putters a little bit, why are these things becoming so popular? Yeah, so I mean, I would say for your more amateur golfer, biggest difference is a smoother stroke. This putter has a lot more weight to it, both in the bottom and in the top, put some counterbalance up top there. A lot of people that come in with a shakier stroke find that this with its heavier weight is a lot easier to get that pendulum motion. Mm -hmm. I have seen people on Quintech take their side spin from almost like 50 or 60 down to 20 or 10. Really? It's a huge difference. They're keeping the face a lot more stable. They're not moving it inside or outside on the way back, yep. coming through nice and straight. It's been some pretty big improvements for some people. Yeah, I think that's the ultimate goal of really putter design in general is is providing golfers with the ability to make a smooth stroke. And you've mm -hmm. seen different ways of doing that. You see, you know, different, like you mentioned, counterbalance technologies in shorter putters, yeah. right? With different shafts or what have you. Mm -hmm. But uh, lately you've seen it on tour. You see guys moving to a design like this um, as basically they're just trying to make it as smooth as possible with both rhythm and then also we're just rolling the ball straight mm -hmm. towards the hole without, and you mentioned the side spin or anything like that. Yep. So uh, today we've got several models with us. Mm -hmm. um, and that's kind of the other part of it too, is you're seeing all these brands jump in on this because yeah. it works. And mm -hmm. so um, seven putters, I've got these Titleist Scotty Cameron Phantom 11 long with me, and we've got two lab putters. Mm -hmm. So this is the Mez One Max. We've yep. got both models here. We've got the sort of the long broomstick style, mm -hmm. and then we've also got the counterbalance style. So that'll be yep. fun to test. Mm -hmm. You've also got, that's actually my putter in your yep. hand right there, the AI Jailbird One Cruiser AI1. Jailbird. Then we've got three more that are not with us on camera right now, but you'll see them both are two pings. We've got the Monday from 2023, and then the, also the DS72, which is the Victor Hovland setup, mm -hmm. uh, both counterbalanced at 38 inches. And then we've got the TaylorMade Spider Tour X, um, which is the model that say Rory and Scotty are currently using as of the recording of this video, but not, mm -hmm. you know, they have the shorter version. Yeah. We'll try the counterbalanced longer version. So mm -hmm. a lot of putters we're gonna test. We've got a putt set up here. That's breaks a little bit left on us, but um, we're gonna, hit some putts, give some feedback on the looks and the feel, and hopefully give you golfers some advice on, on what you're thinking in terms of maybe a new putter in this style. But Jake, before we get started, mm -hmm. is there any impressions you have of these before really doing, I guess, the testing we're about to do? Is there any favorites that you have or uh, maybe the designs and the looks that you like the best? I mean, I would say, as you said, I also have a Jailbird. I okay. play the little older model with the uh, Pro insert in okay. there. I've liked it a lot. It, Again, feels very stable, very easy yep. to use. I'm someone that likes to line the putter up with vertical lines. Yeah. So having this kind of setup right there is really helpful for me. Helps me make sure that I'm square to target. Yeah, that's definitely something we're going to talk about too. Is just the the visual and the alignment aids that might mm -hmm. be on some of these putters. So, all right. Well, without further ado, let's get started here. We'll hit some putts with all seven putters, and we'll mm -hmm. kind of see what we come up with here. Bert. Absolutely. All right. So putter number one is the. Lab Mez One Max. Mm -hmm. This is the counterbalance style. Though. Yep. So this is uh, kind of new for them. They've stuck with this broomstick style here, but now mm -hmm. this is kind of a, a, a different offering here from them. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, relatively new. And you're seeing, again, we talked about the counterbalance technology. Mm -hmm. You put that one down to the dress. Yep. It's obviously a little bit different with the kind of where the shaft mm -hmm. um, connects with the club head. So yep. what do you see and what kind of, uh, you know, does it inspire confidence for you? Yeah, I mean, the first two things that I noticed is that these two prongs really set up well with that ball. Yeah. Fits right in the middle there, works as a pretty good alignment aid for me. Okay. Real long front edge there. Yeah. So like I said, that really easy for me to line up. Yeah. I'm coming from a blade, so that looks pretty familiar to me. I mean, shafting in the center is a little different, but you get used yeah. to it pretty quick. Yeah. Just listening to the audio, it sounds mm -hmm. pretty quiet. It's very soft. Yeah. But it doesn't feel like it comes off dead per se. Burning some edges. Enough. I'm putting that one on me. Yeah, it's there gonna break go. in. So with this one, I mm -hmm. think if, if golfers are considering this head style, I know I'm gonna actually hit the broomstick here yeah. shortly, but um, 
is uh, we like it kind of a softer feel, you think, overall? For sure. If yeah. you prefer a softer feel, this would be definitely somewhere I'd go. Um, if you have a stronger oak, stronger arc to your stroke, yeah. this is also a good one. With that being lie angle balanced, you're not going to see as much face rotation there. Okay. It's going to stay more square to your path. Yeah, so if you're trying to reduce the, the, the I guess, the turn rotation sure. of your face. Mm -hmm. Okay. Absolutely. Let's hit one more. See if, we can, see if we can make one more here, and then I'll try out this broomstick. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Some so some pretty good feedback from that mm -hmm. one, right? Okay. Absolutely. All right. Let me uh, let me try this broomstick. Now sure. I will say for the, you know, for the crowd, don't try it. Well, try this at home, mm -hmm. but learn how to do the the setup because I'm not I'm gonna do a very amateur sort of setup with this thing. But the biggest um, thing I tell people is you want to make sure that your elbow is pointing right at the target. Yep. Pretty vertical. It's not the easiest, you know, thing to get used to. Good putt. But see this one, I, I feel like maybe I'm wrong, but it felt like this had a higher pitched sound to it. It does. Than that one. Maybe it's part I don't know if it's maybe I'm just thinking too much. I didn't hit that hard enough. Can you feel that shaft flex just a little bit on impact? A little bit, yeah. It's a weird feeling. Mm-hmm. If I could hit the ball hard enough, I'd be making these. But it's it's definitely this is for someone who is I mean, you know, maybe not every time, but this is for someone that's really struggling. Where yeah. you might even have the the Y word with mm -hmm. the with the putter for sure. You know, and that's why you see. I mean, you see a lot of guys. You know, Will Zalatoris. Mm -hmm. You see Ben on. You see Adam Scott, Lucas Glover, guys that have hit the ball really good tee to green, mm -hmm. you know, you in, in tournaments, and if you look at their stats and stuff, but the putter is where that's struggled with them. Yeah. And then they get this thing in, in their hands and this, everything just kind of stabilizes mm -hmm. a little bit. And I mean, we even have a fitter at 01 who can hit it 350 off the tee, but couldn't make a five footer. Yeah. Switch to that thing and he's been pretty lethal since. It's fun. Yeah. Yeah, this is, I mean, it is stable. Like I feel mm -hmm. it's weird because I'm, I'm definitely not used to the setup nope. and I'm probably, I mean, I'm sure some putting coach out there is going to be like, you're doing this wrong. Mm -hmm. But with all that said, I still feel like the putter is pretty smooth yeah. and it, the, you know, that pendulum motion mm -hmm. is, is there. Yeah, I, I, you know, I, it's a, it's not quite for me in terms mm -hmm. of, I just, I'm still not, wouldn't be used to this, but yeah. You know, I, I do think if someone is really trying, mm -hmm. looking for something different, right, this is a really good way. And there's, we've talked to uh, Sam you know, on our mm -hmm. on our live, our YouTube live before. Go check that out if you haven't, the CEO of, of Lab. Um, but he, I mean, there's some serious science behind these things. So I would, if you're trying and looking for something different, I'd recommend trying these. Yeah, absolutely. All right, Jake, which one are you gonna try now? Uh, let's go with the spider. Spider, okay, okay. All right, so the Spider Tour, mm -hmm. you put that one down, what do you see? I mean, I've played a Spider before, so this looks pretty familiar, okay. inviting to me. Um, very kind of typical head shape. I mean, this is their kind of original Spider yeah. Tour model. It's had a ton of success with guys like Dustin Johnson, Jason Day. Yep. Um, tour proven, looks great to the ball. Um, I'm a big fan of the Limeade here. Yeah, Just I was going to mention that contrast. too. Mm -hmm. It looks great. I mean, it feels very heavy. I would say of the options we have here, this is probably the heaviest overall putter. Yeah. If you're looking for something the heaviest. That, yeah. If you're looking for something that feels real heavy, this is where I would go. Okay. Yeah. I do. I will say too, like, cause the original spiders did not have that sort of white, you know, the, the no. white stripes there. Mm -hmm. And I think that addition has been really nice yeah. in the last several years with Absolutely. You know, spider two or spider X, all those models. Yeah. So. It helps square the ball very well. All right. Let me get you a few more balls here yeah. and then we can The other thing, nice thing about these putters too is, mm -hmm. uh, in talking with like Larry and some of the fitters as well, is that there is, because they're longer, it also opens up the possibility, like more possibilities for how to set up, right? For sure. You know, you can stay up at the top if you really mm -hmm. feel like that's more comfortable. Yeah. You can go way down low. I mean, it, it's, there's not a right or wrong way to do it. You know, I've had some guys come in where their back isn't the best. And they can kind of hold this a little bit more vertical like this still get that pendulum motion. Yep. It works a lot better where they're not as hunched over. Yep. They can actually spend some time practicing putting because they're yep. able to get into that position for a longer period of time. Yeah, 
So you've hit a few with this one now. Mm -hmm. Talk about like how does this one feel compared to the the lab that you just. This hit? feels a bit firmer. I okay. mean, it still has that. It, I thought it sounded a little bit louder too. But it is a little firmer. You can feel the ball coming off the face a little bit more. Yep. Again, this is a face I'm very familiar with. I had a spider for years. Yep. Um, I love the way it came off this. It generally produces a fair amount of kind of top spin there. Yep. Um, overall, love the feel of this putter. Very heavy, a little firmer face. Nice overall. Yeah, yeah. I think it's really solid. And to your point, I think I also heard it a little bit louder mm -hmm. too. Um, but and we should also note, a firm feel is not like a bad thing. No, yeah, it's a, it's more of a preference. Mm -hmm. I, you know, some people like the softer feel. Some people like firmer feel. It's more of a preference thing. Absolutely. Hit one more here, and, and then uh, I've got my next putter here. Oh, I said. we're getting used to this putt here. Though. Yeah, we are. I think we are. All right, we're going to Scotty Cameron, mm -hmm. Phantom, 11 long. And this is, I was, you know, when I was, we were kind of doing a video about this, uh, you know, a couple weeks ago. And this is really, it, it's kind of new for, for um, you know, the Scotty Cameron lineup, so to speak, mm -hmm. to have a, a long model in, in the rotation or yes. in, you know, available to the public, really. Mm -hmm. They'll build their setups certain ways, obviously, for tour pros, and you mm -hmm. might see some things, but, they haven't really um, deviated from the standard lengths much no. in the past. Um, and so even, you know, this one is going to be 38 inches. It's going to mm -hmm. have that counterbalance in it. So it's a little bit new. The 11 head, I see a lot going on here. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, I like this arrow kind of deal. Yeah. Um, that you can kind of see, but um, definitely seems like they added a little bit more visually to this than sure. maybe past Phantom models. Yeah. This lineup, really, they focused a lot on the laminates. There's yep. really something out there for everyone. Yeah, they got like their idea with these is to make them look fast, mm -hmm. which I this definitely does look fast. Yeah. That's the worst putt of all time. <laughs> what do you think of that little softer Ooh. dual mill? So it's interesting because I think this actually is a firmer feel than than um, what I just hit with the lab. Mm -hmm. And I think there's part of that's like, you know, you see, you know, putters typically with an insert yeah. are going to typically be softer. Mm -hmm. um, so this is obviously a mill, but um, I do like the feel of it. It's good. Dude, the interesting about that one, I hit that so far off the toe. Mm. I just that's that like MOI. It. And I, it was weird because I felt it off the toe. And typically mm -hmm. you feel a little bit of that kind of like twist sometimes. Yeah. That one didn't even mm -hmm. didn't was nothing. It felt off the toe, but it was still square. Ball rolled right at the mm -hmm. target. I like that a lot. That's another big aspect of these putters. With mm -hmm. the larger heads, you have a lot more forgiveness. There's more mass on the perimeter, which will cause a mishit putt to stay a lot more online. Yep. Yeah. See, that one was square, and it. I like how it's rolling too. It's rolling mm -hmm. right away towards the target, which is really nice. I do think uh, this is definitely, I imagine, and mm -hmm. it also sounded, I think the firmest and loudest so far. And yeah. I think that's just because it's a mill versus like the insert. 100%. So. Um, all right, let's go to our next one here. We've mm -hmm. got two pings and a jailbird left. All right, so now we've got the mm -hmm. Ping DS72, yep. which is the Victor Hovland setup mm -hmm. pretty much. Um, and he actually, I think he has that red grip on it too. He now, does, so. yeah. So this is pretty much his exact build. Yep. So uh, talk to me about what that one looks like. That is the smallest mm -hmm. head, by the way, that we have. It's absolutely nearly a blade. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, visually, it's pretty simple and clean. What, mm -hmm. what kind of, um, what does it evoke for you? Yeah, so I mean, this, I would say, is the closest looking to a traditional blade putter, yeah. which is kind of where I've come from. This sets up very well to me. It has the kind of traditional lines here, like yep. you would see on a blade putter. Um, fully milled face with this PLD here. I have a feeling that this will probably be the putter that I like, enjoy the feel of the most because yeah. it's the most familiar to what I'm used to. Um, weight wise, very heavy. There's yeah. a lot of mass to this. Um, I feel like it's going to stay online pretty well. Yeah, for me. I think it will too. Interesting. Are you a claw guy? I am a claw guy. Oh. I try not to do it too much with these more counterbalance putters, but this feels more natural. Just got to hit it. Well, we are, after all, what, this is about eight feet. Mm -hmm. You know, not supposed to make all those. There it is. There we go. Now, feel and sound on this one, mm -hmm. what are you thinking here? By far the firmest that we've had. Yeah. 
There's a little, that traditional kind of ping ting to it. Yeah. Very firm off the face. I don't feel like I need to hit this near as hard to get it to the hole. First couple don't show that, but it does yeah. feel a little faster off the face. Okay. Yeah, Ping's PLD kind of milled putters are always, there's always a certain simplicity to the way that they're designed and, For sure. and the way they look as well. This falls right into that. Oh, you're going to end on a make right here. Wow, you're just burning the edge here. Yeah, <laughs> living on the edge. Living on the edge, okay. Well... I'm gonna move on to the the putt. That's literally my putter, and this is I don't know if this is not really fair. The viewers are gonna call me biased or say, "What are you doing using your own putter?" Uh, mm -hmm. That might be fair, but the Jailbird, well, the AI One Cruiser Jailbird. Mm -hmm. You talked about it at the beginning, but the vertical lines here that are visible. I mean, you got like dark white dark white it's mm -hmm. so contrasted yeah and it really helps with alignment like you can tell mm -hmm. right away if your putter is a little closed a little open For it's sure. very easy to tell yeah. so that's what i like the most about this i have the stock grip from odyssey but mm -hmm. i know the super stroke is also an option yeah, super know, 17. Um, yeah there's plenty of options there but um i like I, it just seems so easy to hit to go straight back straight through with it mm -hmm. I can see why you play it. Yeah, what if I just make all these with my putter? You know? You know your fit right. That looks pretty good. Might just do it. Well, this, I got the confidence from Larry in that. If you haven't seen it on YouTube yet, check it out. I got I went to the Quintech Bay with Larry. I was going to get fit, but it ended up being not a fitting because I didn't change anything. So no. they're perfect numbers right off the bat. Ooh, just a little firm with that one. So this one, and also I, I will say, mm -hmm. because you know I just hit the the Phantom. This is definitely yeah. softer, mm -hmm. um, but I feel like the sound is pretty comparable. Yes. Have you noticed playing it that your miss hits are a bit more consistent because of that AI one insert? Yeah, and actually I will say too, we're not you're not hitting really super long putts today, mm -hmm. but I also like that the distance control is almost better. Mm -hmm. And I say that because I think people have this perception, at least I did, about long putters and how it seems like it's tougher to control distance. Yeah. But there's a certain element of how the, the putter putts itself in mm -hmm. a way where as long as you know about taking it back a certain distance, yeah. the, the rest is easy. I couldn't agree more. All right. I think I'll take this one. Yeah. I think, you, uh, <laughs> I think you're in the right putter there. All right. Last one here. It's Monday, Monday time. time. It's Monday time. <laughs> All right. Being so 2023 Monday. Mm -hmm. This has a little bit of a different shaping to it. It's a lot more rounded on top with yep. three kind of vertical lines here. If you are someone that likes to use a horizontal line to aim, this is a great place to go. You got three of them there. It's very easy to line up to the hole. A little smaller face with that p backs insert there. It's going to feel a little mm -hmm. softer. Okay. So this one, I mean, after now hitting a couple putts, mm -hmm. is, it, is it definitely softer? It's a lot softer, yes. I can really feel it's very head heavy. Okay. I can feel a lot more weight down on the bottom. Versus like the kind of like the exactly, weight Exactly, versus the, the DS-72. It is a bigger head, I guess. That one just jumped on me. Let's knock a couple of these in here. Yeah. In case you can't Goodness. tell, I've been going through a little issue with my putting. Well, you're using, right now, you're using putters that are not even close to, to yours. So with this one, too, mm -hmm. the three lines, um, you talked about it a little bit, but the nice thing, so I actually used before a mm -hmm. Ping Harwood, which yes. is like, if you guys don't know what that is, mm -hmm. that is like the spaceship, Real like big. gigantic, yeah. like bigger than this putter mm -hmm. head. But it also had a little bit of that setup with the three lines horizontally, which I liked because... 
the width of those lines mm -hmm. is the width of a golf ball. Yep. And so it make from that perspective, it also aligns you up to your target, but it also mm -hmm. centers the ball with the club head, which I think is nice. Yeah, absolutely. There it is. There we go. So the Monday. Yep. That's good. It's Monday. Time. All right, let's wrap this thing up, huh? All right. All right, so Jake, we did some testing there. Um, kind of a unique testing, right? It's not super scientific, no. but um, I think the, the the cool part is all these brands have these models out there. Mm -hmm. um, longer putters, different setups for players to play around with, with, you know, especially for the golfers might be struggling a lot with standard putting methods. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to do here, we kind of have a sort of a, you know, a, our final thoughts here on you know what we thought was the best feeling and the best looking putter that we tested today mm -hmm. so jake's got his couple options and i have a few here that i'll explain in a second but yeah. um your best feeling putter mm -hmm. and then the best looking putter for you so best feeling putter was definitely the spider tour overall weight and balance of it i absolutely loved um loved how it came out the face there it was a little firmer for an insert there just felt very very easy to use and then best look for me the odyssey ai1 cruiser those vertical lines really help me line up straight to the hole. Aim for golf or for putting is very, very important. Aim and speed is really all there is to it. Mm -hmm. um, if you can get one of those two right, and then you have the AI one insert in here to help you kind of maintain that speed, it's a pretty easy putter to use. Yeah, and then now that, I will say that one would be mine, mm -hmm. but since you, you took it, and I'll, I'll throw another one out there. So in terms of look, I'm gonna go with this Mundy here, the Ping Mundy. And I say that because of what I just mentioned, um, is that these three lines line up very nicely. Um, you look down at the dress, you put the ball down, and it really does a great job of not only, like I mentioned, aligning you, but also setting you up with the ball centered um, on the club face. And so I like that a lot about the Mundy design. And in terms of feel, I went with two different options because I, you know, players like firm feel and mm -hmm. some players like soft feel. So if you like a firm feel, I think the Scotty Cameron feel is great. And I do think they did a great job with you know, the wig and everything. Um, and so a firm feel with this this mill here, it's not like it's crazy firm, but I think it's just a little bit firmer without that, um, without a softer insert there. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that'll play into the, the hands of a lot of players. And I also grabbed the uh, Mez One Max from Lab. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, he's got that insert here a little bit softer as well. Um, and I thought that it, for me, I thought it was, I actually, in terms of the setup with the broomstick style, it mm -hmm. was, surprisingly easy to get a pendulum stroke going. Yep. And so I think it's one of those where you give it, you know, an afternoon of practice mm -hmm. or, you know, you kind of put your, your mind to it for a little bit and go use it. You're going to immediately see some improvements with it, I think. So sure. there's, there's a science behind all these putters, of course, mm -hmm. um, but Lab obviously has a very unique way of doing it. And yeah. I think they've mastered that here. So mm -hmm. there's clearly a reason it's been become popular and really a reason that all these become popular. So mm -hmm. um, Jake, I have to ask you then in terms of uh, golfers getting fit. Yes. Um, if you're, you know, I guess the golfers out there that are watching this, maybe, eh, I'm not sure about my putter, what should they do to go get fit? Yeah, so I mean, just hop on our website, you can schedule a putter fitting with us. Um, I'm at the Minneapolis location, if you'd like to come see me, we'll come in, get some numbers with your gamer, put you on Quintech, look at launch, side spin, all that kinds of stuff, put you in a few models that we think might help you, see what you like the look of, dial in loft and lie, and get you making more putts. And that's ultimately the goal here is to roll more putts in the hole and shoot lower scores. So golfers, go get that fitting with someone like Jake and play better golf. We have all these options for you. So thanks again for watching. And Jake, thanks for joining today. Absolutely. Thank you.